Frank, no one has ever been here filming before. This is a first, <laughs> okay? So I feel very privileged and honored to be here with you today, Thank Mel. You, Thank you so much for having us uh, to your private home showing us your private garden for the first time. <laughs> this is special, this is special okay. for me, okay? Um, and today you're gonna show us some training techniques right. because uh, sometimes these plants, they can start to grow out of control, Absolutely. right? right. And, uh, and training techniques can be beneficial. So uh, yeah, tell us, tell us uh, why you do training. Well, I do training, uh, particularly uh, sativas and hybrids because they can grow tall. It's too tall for me to actually see what's going on at the top of the plant. So I started this plant uh, early by just tying down the main shoot. And as you can see, once you bring that main shoot down, uh, the branches have more ability to grow and the plant will fill out. Uh, the reason why is that the topmost growing part of the plant, the apical meristem, uh, it puts out uh, hormones that prevent the branches that are just starting below it from growing. This is one of the reasons why plants are shaped like Christmas trees. So if you bring that top, that top shoot down, uh, if you keep it just above the, uh, the other shoots, you'll see all the other shoots will start coming up and you'll fill, fill out so that you get a plant like this that's broad and covers a lot of area but it's not too tall for me to see the top of the plant if I need to or, or to spray my BT if I'm doing that. You get more access, it's easier to manage. Exactly. It I mean, gets more sunlight exposure to, to parts of the plant that wouldn't otherwise have it, absolutely, right? Absolutely, right. And you get more uh, solid big colas rather than just one big cola and a lot of smaller buds. And I'm gonna show you that on another plant over here. That's great. All right, All right let's go have a look. Let's go take a look. Right. This is actually the top growing shoot here. And quite early on, I pulled it down, attached it here. I use, I use wire twists, where I just bend down that top part, secure it, and control the height that way. So, so you, I, you put a little kink into those colas. And I'll end up with uh, colas that look like this. Tell us why you do that. What Again, that's controlling the height. It's all about controlling the I want the to keep height. these colas pretty much about the same height, so that I don't just have one dominant one, and a lot of little ones. Yeah. I want a lot, a lot of nice colas, they're easier to manicure. And I just do it to a few, the few that are outgrowing everything else. Yeah. I used to do this uh, with fluorescent gardens because that's what we had in the 70s. Okay. And with a fluorescent garden, you really only have a very shallow, effective depth in terms of growing because the light is weak. It's spread out over a linear area rather than at a spot. Mm. By doing this, I've opened the plant up so there's more sunlight in here. And also with the increased sunlight and air exposure, you also minimize risk of mold, yes. right? Powdery yeah. mildew. Absolutely. So you see, rather than having just the one big cola and a lot of small buds, I have maybe 15, 16 nice colas. And it increases your yield of really nice big top colas is what it does. Absolutely. Right. So it's fantastic. 